So as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of flyers and a phone book here. Uh, the reason for this is that I'm going to be re-inking the ink cartridge. Initially when I got this thing I was a bit disappointed because this isn't an original cartridge for the printer. It's a nylon replacement and the originals are usually mylar. But now that I'm doing this, I'm actually quite thrilled that this is a nylon filled cartridge instead of mylar. Uh, the original Coleco Atom, it was much like a cassette tape, you'd have uh, you know a full uh, spool of ink and then a take-up reel. And uh, what it would do is, you know, it would be a one-time usage and it would just, you know, keep on going until you used up the whole cartridge. This is a little different. It's got an, a huge loop of nylon uh, ribbon inside of it and it just keeps on going in a big loop. It just bunches it up in here and then pulls it out the other side. It works much like a cassette duplication machine where they have the master on a big loop. So, what we're gonna do is uh, I picked up some stamp pad ink and this is what we're gonna use to refill it. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know how good this is gonna work. Uh, it's something I read online on how to do this, so we'll find out now. What you gotta do is you gotta pull a bunch of this out. Uh, you gotta put some gloves on because it's going to get messy. Messy, messy, messy. And I also grabbed a spare set of gloves in case I have an emergency and need to scratch my balls or something like that. Uh, all right, same gloves you use for uh, giving anal exams. Isn't that fun? Okay, so here we go. We have, ugh, and there's a lot inside of here. It's supposed to have a roller. The guy who suggested this method said there was a roller. Oh my god. Oh, it's just sucking it right up, eh? Look at that. I might not have enough. Like, I really don't know how, oh. And onto the floor it goes. <laughs> Onto my jeans. Ha ha ha. This is awful. I don't like this. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. Here. Put some more on there. I should have gotten two bottles, I think. This is crazy. I don't believe I'm doing this. Yeah. I think I need a better method. I think what I need to do is pour this into a container and do it that way, because I'm gonna run through this bottle like nothing. And all it's doing is soaking into the foam book. So, whoever suggested this idea, it was a nice thought, and it's just not gonna work with this one. All right, so what I got here is a lid from a juice jug. We're gonna put a bunch of ink in here Oh my god, this is just crazy. This is the craziest thing I've ever done. Um, and let's just... <laughs> okay, let's start at the beginning, wherever the beginning is, right here. And uh, do that. Just kind of pull it through the lid here. There we go. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, I like to clean some of it off. Because it's quite a bit. It's working pretty good. It's soaking up in there. It's gonna be a mess inside the cartridge, but I don't care. All right, now you gotta wind it back up. Yee. This cartridge is gonna be a mess after. Ugh. I'm getting ink like absolutely everywhere. Okay, the gloves are not helping me, and I'm just gonna, gonna be a big mess after this. But I don't care right now. Uh, yeah. There we go. Now we got something happening here. I'm gonna have black fingers by the end of this. It's just not gonna go the way I want it to, and that's perfectly fine.
So I might have to do a bunch of drying here because there's a lot in here. It's on both sides. It's just so great through. Can I use a screwdriver in there? I might be able to. I'm gonna screw it over. I might make it faster. This is better. Look at that. I'm just getting all the excess ink out with using a screwdriver now. Don't strip, you fucker. Holy fuck, it's just pouring out of there. Look at that. I'm probably gonna be here for a while. So, I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, so now that we uh, we got the keyboard working, we have the, the printer cartridge re-inked, we need to see if my newly re-inked uh, printer cartridge is working after all that blackness I put on my hand. So, let's throw a tape in here. Somebody, whoever had this uh, this Atom before left a bunch of their files on here. So we're just gonna use one of their files to test the printer with. So let's uh, get a file and see if it prints. I don't feel, I could type something, but I'm not gonna sit here and you know, plunking away on this thing just to see if the, if the printer works. All right, we got uh, Chantel and Chantel F, SA, uh, sure, let's uh, do essay. Probably somebody's school homework. All right, we have a file loaded. Let's uh, take a look at what uh, what is in here, just for fun. Let me read a passage from Chantel's uh, essay here. When one speaks of a comedy show, it is rare that one looks at what is involved in making it so funny. A comedy can be stacked with stock situations or stock characters. Mm, sounds interesting. I don't think so, but uh, but this will be perfect just for uh, for printing purposes here. So. What we gotta do is hit the print key, and there's a print workspace key. Now, every time you're printing a document, you have to make sure you wear ear protection, because this printer is fucking loud. That's what happens when you use a daisy wheel printer. All right, let's print and see what happens. It was working, I think the uh, cartridge isn't moving any. Um, yeah, it's jammed up a little bit here. Here, let's turn it a little bit. This isn't a very good cartridge. All right. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. I think there's a problem in here. All right, well, I'm gonna take a look at this and see what's happening. All right, so we're working on the printer right now. Um, I took the thing out. This thing's really easy to take out because um, these things just kind of pop onto a couple of uh, pivots. You can, well, you gotta carefully take it out and um, you gotta really carefully pry them apart to get them off the pins. Uh, I took the daisy wheel off, it just pops right off. So I took that off so I wouldn't have to, um, so I wouldn't break the damn thing. And then I wanna buy another one, and uh, there's a, the tray that sits on top of here just screws on with uh, the five or six screws or something. Anyway, we took the, we took this thing out so we can see how the, how the thing works. Now, 
Yeah, I'm having fun trying to get into the camera here. So when it prints, there's uh, there's a solenoid right here, and it's uh, every time you print a character, it um, comes out and it uh, pushes this gear one notch ahead uh, to advance the the printer ribbon here. So and then you know it pops back out and then it does it again and it just keeps kind of going like that to move the printer ribbon ahead. But I noticed that this thing, it, it, it's not that reliable. It kind of jams up there and it doesn't move, right? This is how it's supposed to work. And it just kind of bungs up right there. So, so we got to do a couple of things to make it work from what I can tell. Uh, first of all, it, it's sliding on this piece of plastic here. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of lithium grease take a little bit of lithium grease and uh, we're gonna put a little bit on um, where it's rubbing here and uh, we're gonna put a little bit around the solenoid here get it deep down there as much as I can just to help it uh, move a little bit better so let's do that but lithium grease is probably like the safest thing you can use you don't want to use WD-40 or anything like that so Let's uh, do that. I don't know if you can see it in my shot here. Um, three hands is always better than two, but uh, we only have two, so we gotta make do with what we got. There we go. Uh, hold it up with your thumb there, I guess, and uh, smush some in there. And it looks like there has never been lithium grease in here, so we're just gonna make it work better than it used to. Which is always a good thing. There, put a little bit of lithium grease in there, jam it in there. Oh yeah. So that'll help it move a little bit better. And now let's do a little bit on the solenoid. Alright, so let's get a little bit. Fuck, there's a lot on here. I need a little bit. A little bit in there. Alright. All right, so I jammed some in there. I'm gonna exercise it a bit here. It's working a little better, only a little. So, yeah. I think what's going on there here though, if you notice it looks a little bit bent. I don't know if you can see that. So let's see if we can bend it a little bit here. It's, you know. Needs to be a massive amount of printing here. Yeah. That's pretty good. Look at that, eh? Hell of a lot more reliable than what it was. So what I did was I took... I don't know if you can see that in the shot. I bent this piece of metal just a little bit to give it a little bit more support, I guess. Um, looks like it's working better. Alright, uh, I'm going to put it back together. Take the daisy wheel, snap it back on. Oh, okay, I see. It kind of just rests in there. Yeah, it just rests in there. You have to watch that when you pull it off, I guess, and put it back on. And come on, bitch. This coily thing has to rest in there, too. So it's kind of a tricky fucking thing to put back together. And it's going to piss you off, just like it's pissing me off. Oh, you know what? I got this the wrong way. That's probably what my problem is. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's nice and easy. Make sure you put that the right way, unlike me. There we go. That's how it's supposed to sit. And now, I gotta figure out where I put the fucking screws. Okay. So let's keep putting the screws in. Alright, let's pop this fucking print head back on here. Uh, you might need a flathead screwdriver for encouragement. 
There you go. Oh fuck, that was easy. A little too easy. Alright, pull the paper out. We'll use side two. Nice friction fit piece of crap. Alright. Put the ribbon in there. Let's see if my printer works now. There we go. Now it's going. Okay, looks like it should work. Let's uh, give it a shot. Turn it on. All right, let's print. Looking pretty good. It's working. I'm happy. A little smudgy. It's because there's a little too much ink and it's uh, now on the ribbon. Oh god. <laughs> That's so a little wet. I put a little too much ink in there. But yeah, it's working now. Very good. I'm happy. It worked. And that is how you fix your Coleco Atom.